Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDRM 1019 Welcome back to Curse of Monkey Island. Okay, so, apparently I'm missing something in this ship here. I'm gonna look a little closer. Yeah, it was right in front of me. Let's pick up this paste. Not sure how I didn't notice that. Alright, we've got some glue. So, we need to go acquire this ship in Danger Cove. So, let's make our way to our little boat here. Okay, paste the plug on this. Is all pasty now. Okay, and into the boat. Perfect. Okay, let's use the boat. And make our way to this pirate ship here. Okay. Fifteen men on a dead man's huh? Who are you? Uh hmm. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I mean to kill you all. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Fossey, the first mate. And my captain? He's the scourge of the seven seas. The dread pirate. Let's... Yes, Captain. It's on the table, sir. Let's <laughs> That's right. Captain, let's... Yes, Captain. Just an intruder, sir. I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Hmm. Couldn't you just let me off with a stern warning? No. So, well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, men? Can we make him walk the plank? <laughs> Any last words, Threepwood? Um... I'll be back to kill you all. All right, in you go! There was no splash. Splash! Uh. Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> splash. Alright, so we've uh, been kicked off the ship, but there's nothing really keeping us from getting back on. Let's knock this out. Alright. Climb back on the ship. Nah. That's... Who's there? Again with the sneaking on board the ship! I don't know how or why you came back on board, but the next time you walk the plank will be your last. Yeah, you don't have What's a plank, that, Captain. Vandals. Yes, sir. Tar and feathers. I know it's messy, but it's the only torture we have left. Our illustrious captain has declared that you shall be tarred and feathered. <laughs> That'll 
So what do I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? Uh, I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, just get lost then. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Alright. Can I... actually watch this off the waterfall? I heard that I could, but I don't know if I have ever done it before. The waterfall washed off all oh. the tar and feathers. Oh, I feel it... fresh and clean as a spring morning now. Oh, okay. It's wet. That did work. Well, I'm gonna have to uh, do that again then. I've never done this three times before. This will be an experience. Pirate ship. Who's there? <laughs> Again with the sneaking on board the ship. Oh, Rio. Okay. Our illustrious captain has declared that you shall be tarred and feathered. <laughs> That'll learn ya. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that happened. All right. So, let's go to... Back to Porto Palo now. So, you know, we happen to look like an awful lot like a seven-foot-tall chicken. I believe we were told a few stories about that. Oh, can I talk to Kenny? I just noticed he was here. Oh, no, he's not there. Okay. Let's have a little fun here. It's El Pollo Diablo! Kill him! Uh-oh. <laughs> it's El Pollo Diablo! The demon chicken! We don't serve your kind here. Made it! Get me the scissors! Eviscerate him! He'll regret ever setting claws in this place. I want the neck! <laughs> Alright, so everyone's pretty convinced that we're El Pollo Diablo. So there's one more place we need to check out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Do you have a reservation? Madre de Dios! It's El Pueyo Diablo! <laughs> I've released your prisoners and now I've come for you. Si, sí, he deado en libertad los prisioneros y ahora vengo por ti. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. Ow. Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. You're an overachiever, a doer. I'm just a tiny little fly. LeChimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain! Fresh bananas for the whole crew! An utter loon. What's that, Captain? 
And your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. Why, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean. Hmm. So, Mr. Fossey thinks he hears the voices of Captain LeChimp. We can probably use this book. <clears throat> Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? <laughs> you sound different. <clears throat> Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me, at the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. You mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir, but I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good, and then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. Well, that almost worked. where they've buried Elaine. Okay. With all eyes open, follow the path to the X. Southeast, northwest. Oh, man. I'm going to have to look at that a bunch. I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. <laughs> can I eat any of this? I never liked cranberries, and I don't plan to start now. I don't want any plunder bread. Oh, yeah, like I want another mouthful of maggots. <laughs> I don't want to get the kernels stuck in my teeth. I'm not in the mood for bananas. I'm not that interested in mashed potatoes right now. I'm not in the mood for fruit. Okay, well, let's go. Okay, we can leave the ship now. <coughs> Whoops, there's no rowboat. Whoops, there's no rowboat. Oh, well. Whoops, there's no rowboat. Uh... Whoops, there's no rowboat. Well, oh yeah, that's right. I have to, um, I forgot. I have to open the porthole. There we go. Okay, back to shore. Last order of business on Port Apollo is Okay. All right, so <clears throat> Southeast, northwest West southeast, so southeast, northwest. I'm gonna have to look at this a few times. I don't think that would help. West southeast, so west, south, east. Uh, two paces northeast. East southwest. So two paces northeast. Did it say east southwest? East southwest. Okay. So east and southwest. What did I do wrong? Oh man. Alright. Hang on. I'm going to have to take a picture of this. Alright. Let me. Take a picture of my camera. Ah, oh, man. <clears throat> All right. Let me leave this area and try again.
All right. Southeast. Northwest. West. South. East. Two paces northeast. Oh, I was supposed to pull the handle. That's right. I knew better than that. All right. Hang on. Start over. Southeast. Oh, no. That's... God bless it. Come on. Southeast. Northwest. West. South. East. Northeast twice. East. Southwest. Pull. Ah. Did I do something wrong? Okay. Hang on. With all eyes open, follow the path to the X. Oh! That's right. I forgot. He can't be on the stage. Not the spear. It looks too heavy for me to carry. <sighs> open the trunk. It looks too heavy for me to carry. I just want to open it. No, that that won't work. Okay, hold on. Um, I'm missing something. Huh. Worn travel trunk. It's an old travel trunk. It's covered with stickers from many faraway places. Pull out on stickers. I don't want to pick it up. I just want to open it. It won't talk back. <laughs> Uh-huh. He, you brute. Then fall, Caesar. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I just can't watch. <laughs> okay, hang on, I'm missing something and I actually don't remember this one. Pause. All right, am I blind? There should be fake swords, fake, fake crown. Ugh. See, this isn't telling me where it is in the guide. Um. I gotta look this up. I know, I, I just... It's the one thing I don't remember. Um... No, wait. No! I am... Okay, hang on. I don't have to get him to leave the stage. I'm, I'm sure I don't. Have I just been forgetting my east from my west? Southeast... Northwest, West, South, East, two paces Northeast, East, Southwest. And then That's I it. Oh, there we that go. That must be where Elaine is buried. Okay, I don't know what I was doing wrong earlier, but that worked. Okay, now the trunk's open. And now, the moment I know you've all been waiting for. How about some amazing juggling? Is this a dagger I see before me? No, 
Oh, it's spring. See how I juggle these knives? At great personal risk to myself and to you if I slip. <laughs> He's a great juggler, but I sure wish he'd get off the stage so I can dig Elena. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him. And his two pals. <laughs> Wee! Drop it. Drop it. I want it. Does he keep changing the items or. Yeah. Knives Drop again. It. Drop it. Okay. Let's mess with his act. I got some chicken grease here. Let's put these on these cannonballs. Uh oh. It looks like he's coming for the cannonballs now. And now, the ultimate Shakespearean delight. The famous cannonball juggling scene from Romeo and Juliet. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it had a happy ending and he got the, um, got the girl in the end. All right, well, he's off the stage. Everyone's gone except for this monkey. Let's uh, see if we can dig up a lane. Elaine should be safe up in the crow's nest. For now. Alright, we did it. Well, I've got a crew, a map, a ship, and finally got Elaine back. So let's say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save Elaine. How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune, guys. This might be more difficult than I first imagined. Part three, the sh three sheets to the wind. Ah, the sea. I, the sea. Makes you glad to be alive. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty spray. The sunlight sparkling off the bay. What a glorious seafaring day. It's a pirate ship. We've got to outrun her. All right, men. Are you with me? Hey. Look, guys. A whale. Where? Where? That ship is gaining on us. Cutthroat Bill. Rig the topsail. Is that a right whale? No, no, lad. They're boarding us! Crew, help me out here! It is a member of the Cetus suborder, Mr. Shetty, though. I think you're right. Uh, game? Where do we? Brottingham, so it's you. What do you want? Other than a good toupee. I've come for your map to the favored blood alone. Then I'll find the diamond you mentioned. It'll make a fun paperweight for my escritoire. Ooh, look! It's breaching! Ooh! Ah! Look, Baldy, I'll never give you that map. I need it to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 100 feet. And weigh 200 metric tons. You know, of course. <laughs> In a swamp fight, a sharp weed is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. No, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. What? So when I say every enemy I've met, I've annihilated, you say... I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? No. You say, with your breath. I'm sure they are suffocated. Let's try that again, shall we? You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Uh... I'm waiting. I... Uh, I... Just as I thought. You're an amateur with this world. Give me that map. Here, take it. That's your map? Yeah. As soon as I'm through pirating these waters, it's off to blood alone. Until we meet again, Monsieur Tweebud. I've got to get that map back or we'll never find Blood Island. Thanks, guys. You were a world of help back there. 
It was a rousing battle, Captain. Aye, and it reminds me of a song. Oh boy, here's everyone's favorite part of the game. When a band of vicious pirates are sailing out to sea. When you hear a gentle singing. You'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> I love this. Come on, men. We've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every clap. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned deaf. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Let's go defeat that evil pirate. We know he's sure to lose because we know just where to fire it. <laughs> I wonder what kind of work it took to make this part of the game. A gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear plugs. A pirate I was <laughs> meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. <laughs> roam the sea. <laughs> Crew, let's get to work. Our vocation's a thing we love, a thing we'd never shirk. <laughs> we'll fight you in the harbor, we'll battle you on land. Oh, when you meet singing pirates, there'll be more than you can stand. Oh, that was a good one. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was a good one, honestly. From the diaphragm. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Less singing, more sailing. When we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. If you try to fight us, you will get a nasty whacking. If you disrespect our singing, we will beat you to a crack and a pirate I was meant to be. <laughs> Trim the sails and roam the sea. I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. We're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. We're troublesome corsairs, and we've come to steal your treasures. We would shoot you on the downbeat, but we gotta rest five measures. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Shoot you on the downbeat, but we gotta rest five measures. Stop, stop, stop. The brass is what we'll polish, and the deck is what we'll mop. You say you're nasty pirate scheming, thieving, babbush whackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. <laughs> All right, one line left. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well, uh... Door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay, back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. <laughs> Nothing rhymes with orange, folks. Captain. Yes, Mr. McMahon. We were wondering, we were, just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, some captains are men of action. They like to have complete responsibility and control for a ship. Other captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspects of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship combat. The more academic captain will find the other pirate vessels he meets 
to be less aggressive, and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. I see. So, Captain Threepwood, which type of captain be ye? Okay, so I'm going to tell him that I love sea battles, because if I tell him I like, uh... Wait a minute. I think I'd rather let you guys help me out. Well, alright, I'm going to tell him I love a tough sea battle, because if I don't, then the sword fights here are going to be... Are going to, like, be harder, and I'm going to have to rely on a lot of heavy luck just to get through this next section, so... I love a tough sea battle as much as the next captain. Challenging ship combat it is. Okay, so, let's take a look at the map. We're going to have to go mess with some uh, some ships here. We don't want to go for Rottingham's ship yet. Alright, so. Gotta get close to both these guys. Damn it. There we go. How dare you attack my ship? Give me your treasure and I'll let you live. Good luck, boy. Uh, let's see. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Oh, yeah? Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Tch, I don't have any good other insults. You're ugly. That's the worst insult I've ever heard. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. I like music that's syncopated. I leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. Oh, well, he's teaching me some new insults. Chinese food's best when not monosodium glutamated. Ha! I've beaten you. I will let you live if you give me your treasure. If I had treasure, don't you think I'd spend it before grappling with the likes of you? I, I suppose you would. Never mind, then. I <clears> guess <throat> I need more practice with this sword fighting stuff. Okay. Yeah, at least I showed him in the high seas combat part. Okay, here's what I think we're going to do. Um, calling it a short video this week. Um, <laughs> I think we'll call this a good place to stop. Uh, specifically so that um, I can use the next um, video to focus on the ship uh, combat and sword fight section. Uh, it's going to get a little ridiculous here, so... Uh, all right, yeah, let's call that a video. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And check me out at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel. And until next week, I'll see you folks later. Take care. Bye-bye.